Hello, good people and data analysts. My name is Greg and I run Data Independent. And today is day three of 30 days of data visualization. And today we're gonna to jump into the world of D3 and do a little bit of animation. So if you've been following along, you know that we're making 30 data visualizations in 30 days. And if you wanna follow along, just go to 30daysofdataviz.com. So today we're gonna to be making this animated bar chart. Now you'll remember that on day one, we made a simple, uh, not very good looking, multi-line chart showing the number of benches installed in each of the boroughs within New York City. So it's kind of interesting to see that uh, the Bronx, I mean, sorry, Brooklyn is leading the line. But I wanted to see what does this look like animated over time? And that's where our good friend Mike will come in and show us how to use some D3 on this. So before we uh, get into how it works, let's first see it. And as you can see here, we have what it looks like he's calling a bar chart race. So these things constantly grow as uh, the time advances from here. Now, to finish now the way that this is going to work is we're actually going to reuse a template that uh, of a bar race chart that has already been used we're going to supply our own data and then we're going to tweak some of the parameters so the way that uh, this works is on bar chart race right here this is a think of this as a template and this is a uh, a tool that we can use much like any other library it's a you know a piece of a library and we can import this with our own data so there's an example right here and what you can do is you can actually see the data that uh, Mike is using over here under category brands.csv. And so you click on this one and then you open it up and you see what this data looks like. And it may be just a little tough to see here. Let me zoom in a little further. And so what you have here is you have the name of a company, you have the category that's in, which determines the color, and then you have a value. And this value is simply just how far do you want the bar chart on. Now, the important part is that you have also have a date column, which is this, this is going to advance over, which is pretty cool, right? And so we did the same thing with the, uh, with the, with, <laughs> with the uh, benches data. There it is. And so if I go back to my own, let me go back over here. Nope. If I go back to my own, there we go. If I go back to my own, um, we're gonna have the same thing. It's just replaying again for us. We're gonna have the same thing. So I'm gonna view attachments and then look at the data here and show you what this looks like. And simply it's the same thing. Um, it's basically just, we have a date column, we have a name, which is the name of the neighborhood that we're looking at. We have the value, which is the cumulative number of benches at that time. And then for category, because I wanted as little work to do as possible, I don't wanna have to reformat as code. I just sent category to the name. So it's a one-to-one -one mapping. Um, so for example, we have Bronx right here, and then you can see we go to Brooklyn. And then what's really cool is that down here at the bottom, this is when you import the chart. And so just one second here, what it looks like when you import this chart is you're going to say import chart and D3. And so D3, if it's required and with, and then here's all the custom parameters that I wanted to set. So I'm using my own data. I overwrite his. Uh, duration, format date, the K, the N, the replay, and this is all through trial and error, and this is all through testing. So for example, uh, right now there's a certain height right here. If you wanted to have a different height, you just say 500, and then rerun that cell, and then all of a sudden it's a much longer down here. So little things like that that you learn through the trial and error. Now, I'm not gonna claim that I'm a D3 expert because it is kind of insane uh, how involved it is, but I know enough to work my way around it a little bit, and I highly suggest you jump into um, observable notebooks to uh, do more awesome data visualizations of yourself. So there's our animated bar chart for today, day three of 30 days of data viz.